You just had a that you know that landmark show overseas in Italy, and now you know the press conference in London this morning, and now you you look forward to uh, Henderson versus Korshkov. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, you know, listen, we've had a really busy schedule, but uh, you know, the uh, the Italy fight in Torino was amazing. We had like almost fourteen thousand people there. Yeah, uh, you know, it was a big launch party for Kickboxing. Bellator and. Uh, London's on the way home to New York, so it's all good. Yeah, so the announcement came over yesterday, Kimbo and Thompson mixing it up, and then Daly and Kostic. We knew that had to happen, but I like that it's happening overseas. You know, uh, the, 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 the Brits have come this way, and now the Americans are, are heading that way. You know, I'll tell you, that's one of the things that, uh, you know, we talked about today was, look, they get a home game now. Yeah. And uh, James Thompson gets to sleep in his bed, and, Kimbo's going to make the the trip over there, over here, and uh, he's got to sleep in a in a hotel room and get adjusted to the time and eat different food. So, you know, I think that uh, it's uh, it's something that James likes the the little bit of advantage he's getting, and I know he's taking it very personal. He's going to train extremely hard, and we're looking forward to uh, the 16th of July here at the O2. Right on. Now let's talk about this Friday. Andre Korshkov versus Benson Henderson. Like I was saying earlier, when Benson was signed, you know, we immediately started doing our matchmaking over here in our heads. Uh, Thompson, Chandler, who's going to welcome him to the division or is he going to go straight against Brooks? Then we hear the announcement, Korshkov, and we all said, what a genius this man is, this Scott Coker guy is. Uh, was that the plan the whole time, Scott, or did you leave that out to Ben? You know what? We really left that to Ben because uh – you know, he had just come off that welterweight fight, and uh, he wanted to uh, fight again at welterweight, and he wanted to fight right away. And we said, look, we think this is the fight that uh, would make a lot of sense for everybody, and he loved it. And he said, look, after the fight, let's see how I feel. Maybe I'll go back down to 55, and we're, we're going to really leave it up to him and his coaches to make that decision. Uh, but the fight this Friday is going to be amazing, and, and I'm really looking forward to it. We had Dada 5000 on the show last week, and he had mentioned that he'd like to fight again. Is the door open for him to come right. back and do that? Boy, you know what? Somebody asked me that today, too, and I said, you know what? Uh, th there's, you know, that that's a tough question to answer, but I'll I tell you, for right now, I, I say let's just be friends. You know, we can all be friends, and, and uh, you know, there's there was a lot of situations in the last fight Man, I, I I really wish that kid well. You know, he 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 you know, had a tough going in that Kimbo fight. You know, it was it was a uh, you know a very intense situation, and you know I'm I'm not sure I'm ready to handle that one again.